You know that guy from Star Trek? Uh, I don't like the Star Trek now, though, but the, the Next Generation? They had, he had the visor that he could see. You ever saw that show? That he had the visor that he could see, that, that it's like a glasses that he makes him to see he was blind? They have that nowadays, but it's so much money that it's like, it's like a machine that you put over your face. And, um, and it makes you, it makes you uh, see things more closer, you know? Remember, um, I don't know if you saw like Star Trek: The Next Generation, like yeah, a, the, all the time. and and uh, he had like something on his face, the engineer, mm -hmm. um, and, and and he was blind on the sh on the show, but he could see with the special glasses, you know. Yeah. And I went to Low Vision yesterday, and it had it'll make you look like a Martian, though, but you know. <laughs> but at least you could see closer. But it's like it's like three thousand five hundred dollars, and it's a lot of money. Yeah, you guys are lucky, you know, you have a good eyesight, you know. I see everything tiny, that's what my problem is, you know. So I see the cars outside like Hot Wheels, you know. But I mean, like, I'm with glasses, you know, I just, uh... Yeah. Some things I got mad and some stuff, you know, I guess I can't, you know, I can't probably see, like, a small, you know, small thing. Oh, oh, oh. I can't, so... I mean, like, nowadays, I mean... Right, right. Right. It may not have the same problem, but uh, mm -hmm. everybody was not. Like, you know, they, like, uh -huh. and you know the and you know the apostle Paul couldn't see that well. You know that. Yeah. He couldn't see the eye problem because remember when he saw the glory of the Lord and uh, when he was walking to get those letters uh -huh. to persecute the Christians uh -huh. in chapter nine of Acts, he. Uh, he saw the glory of Jesus, you know, and it made him blind. Mm. And then uh, he got healed, but partially, but... I remember that part. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. He said, who are you, Lord? And then he said, I'm Jesus, who you're persecuting. And then right thereafter, he repented, you know. He he was Saul and he became Paul, you know. Yeah. Yeah. We were talk, we were about oh, about free salvation? Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about that. You know, like, um, get, some, get some of them, you know, they, they understood, you know, the... the mm -hmm. You know, all, all, you know, all these, 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 these things that we were talking about, they got a pretty good understanding of them, though, you know, as opposed to some others, you know. What do you mean, some people? Yeah, some kids, you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. but a lot of kids are ignorant um, because their parents don't teach them about... Exactly. That's, about that's what I was about to say. Millions of kids, you know, though, man, yeah. You got the, you know, the, 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 the good parent thing, you know. And the people in the church, there's some kids in the church that don't, that don't understand salvation. In the church. Oh, no, really? No, no, I know, I know. Yeah, in the church. Because, yeah, and there's a lot of, uh, even um, people who call themselves Christians or non-Christians. No, no, come on, come on, don't, don't, don't get me wrong, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, like, it's obviously, you know, it's a good thing going to church. Yeah. But, you know, you got to be the church, you know. You got to be the church. What do you think? It's one of the reasons a lot of people refuse to go to church because they, you know, based on all these, these things, you know. Yeah. Some people, all they, they, they care is like, you know. Because my neighbor is going to church. Right. You know, my kids' neighbor is Keep going to church. Keep up with the Joneses, right? Yeah. But this is what I say. This is what I say, beloved of the Lord. You know, I don't know what your name is. What's your name? My name is Wellsville. Wellsville. Wellsville with a W? No, with a uh, Wellsville. Wellsville. Oh, Wellsville. Yeah. You know, like, like my, and of course, you know my name. It's just that, I, I think that, uh, am I here already? Because yeah, I don't want to back you. I don't want to no, make you, you know. Else. You're good to help us, right? I'm sorry? You getting the help? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get someone oh, good, good. Yes, yeah, so that way I can stay inside. Cause I got to wait for my mobility instructor. You know, outside, it's kind of cold. So I, okay. I don't care if you have like three people in front of me. <laughs> I don't want to wait outside. But the thing is that, like I always say, like um, every Christian has at least one spiritual gift. Okay. At least either prophecy or tongues. I believe in that for today. Bible teaching, preaching, uh, pastoral, whatever, you know, hospitality. And I always say... That I know there's a lot of things going on in, in some churches, you know, not all churches are not one church is perfect, but we're, we're not perfect in our condition. We're perfect in our position in Christ. Now, knowing that if we have a gift and we do, if we're Christian people, 
we can make a difference if we go to that church instead of like having people saying, oh, well, the Christians are full of hypocrites. Yeah, but the, the, um, but our jobs are full of hypocrites and still we go to work. So like if they're hypocrites in our job and we go to work, right, or whatever, we, we go to school, whatever the case may be. Well, the church is established by God is, and, and God loves the church. Now you have to pick the, the good church, meaning if it's a Mormon church, no. If it's a Jehovah's Witness congregation, don't even bother going because they deny everything, yeah. even the deity of Christ. Yeah. If it's a Catholic church, that's that's a counterfeit waiting. That, that's a counterfeit. You know, evangelical church, a Baptist church, a Presbyterian church, uh, good churches that believe in the Trinity and the deity of Christ and free salvation. Yeah. That once I call upon the name of the Lord, I am saved. It's not like I, I bring my works to God. I work for my salvation, and when I die one day, God is going to see all the good things that I so-called did, and he's going to say, you know something, Angelo, you're good enough to enter into my kingdom. Right. But unfortunately, it's not like that, because what about the bad things that I did? Mm -hmm. What about my sin nature that I'm born with? Yeah. You know, that's why Paul says, not of works, lest any man should boast. Because if I could work for my salvation, who gets the glory, Jesus or me? Me. No. But it's not like that. See, he gets the glory. And that's what we have to um, share. And, and yeah, you know, we have to make time for God's word and for the church because we can make a difference in the church. So some people say, oh, well, they're hypocrites. Well, yeah, but but they're probably married to one also. And then they're still married, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. No, it's the truth. I, I mean, so not any like every establishment is not going to be perfect now. God's church is not perfect now. You understand what I'm saying? It's going to be, but it's not now. And if we understand it, okay, if there's an argument in church or something like that, well, there are family in Christ. You know you're going to have that, you know, from time to time. You know. You're going you're gonna to have that from time to time, an argument or misunderstanding. But it doesn't mean that I don't go to church and not make a difference, you know, and share my gift. And also, you know. If 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 you say not you, but in a general sense, if somebody says that they're a Christian and then they don't go to church or well, their own family members who they're trying to reach are not going to really take them seriously. If they know, oh, yeah, well, you're telling me about Christ, but you're not even going to church. And so their their message becomes a little void uh, because they see that this person is not even going to church. So they say, well, he's telling me about Jesus, but he's not even going to church, you know. I mean, I can't, you only said you won't come from, but, um, yeah. they just, but, um, but what's the problem, like, like, let me know, like, so I could know, like, like, obviously you're a man of faith, or at least you, you were, or whatever the case may be, what's bothering you about the present day church, though, I mean, what's the deal? Well, well, that's, that's, like, uh, I mean, there's so many things, though, you know. Like what, like, give me, like, an example, because I really want to learn. Yeah, I mean, it's like what? That, uh, you know, the fake uh, part of it. You know, like uh, they say, you, they tell you one thing, they, you appreciate one thing, they do it on something, something else. You know, like so uh, what, well, like hypocrisy? You know, you're talking about, like it's about money. You know? it's, a, it's a money part. You know, it's it based don't really have to do nothing to do with you know money, uh, money I mean, schemes. Like, yeah, I guess money. But not all the churches are the same, though. Not everybody is doing that. Like there are churches, and I'll no, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Mm -hmm. like, you know, cause, hey, I mean, yeah, you have an institution, you know, um, right? You got built to bear, you know, absolutely. Um, you working, Responsible you know, to God. Yeah, yeah. So uh, another word, you know, uh, you have to, you know, tell you have to take full responsibility, you know, to you know keep moving with the church. Yeah, know, all these things, you know. But what I'm saying is sometimes it's um because some you know some congregation you know yeah it's like they make you believe that you know um uh, you know the, the church not the church itself but the church has yeah you know has more to do with money instead of you know um uh, you know instead of you know, the good world, though, you know. It, you know, it, but I, I understand what you're saying, but check this out. There are a lot of churches who are suffering for the truth, though. I mean, what you're mentioning is just a speck on the, on the eye. On, like, Jesus even said it. If you understand, do you understand Matthew chapter 13? 
Do you know what Matthew chapter 13 uh, says? I'm, 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 I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not, no, that's okay. That's okay. No, no. No, that's fine. No, that's fine, though, man. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. But we're here to learn, you know, from me to you and you. Uh, Matthew chapter 13 has to do with the parables of the kingdom. And Jesus said that the growth of the church is going to be abnormal. It's going to be like a, a mustard seed growing up into a tree. And then it's going to be that, that you know, that some people are going to receive the word of God on good soil on, on bad soil, on rocky ground, on thorny uh, 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 ground, and the sun is going to come up, it's going gonna, it's gonna, to uh, 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 stomp the seed or stop the seed from growing really richly. And this is the thing that a lot of people don't understand, that the church that you see right here is an abnormal growth, that you're going to have elements of, of evil within the church, meaning uh, the unleavened bread that a woman took, you know, and the whole thing became leaven. So we understand as people who really know the word of God by God's grace, we can only know the word of God by God's grace, that there are going to be elements of evil in the church. They're going to be the tares. They're going to be the counterfeit people in the church. Mm -hmm. But that never stops a true Christian from going to church, or at least that they will want to go in the future because Jesus told us the prophecy already that the church was going to be, there's going to be elements of evil because of Satan. Satan, like remember a, a, a householder went away and a person came and so tears in the midst of the wheat, meaning counterfeit people in there. But that doesn't stop us from going because we need the church because the church needs us. First of all, it needs us. Individually, it needs our gifts. So, you know, if there's if there's things going on in the church that you're talking about, you can make a difference in that church, right? You can make a difference. You can bring out difference. Mm -hmm. And and the thing is that it shouldn't stop us from going to church, the things that are happening, because, you know, this is where, you know, they're, they're even, even. Well, G um, let me answer that question. Then. Yeah. Uh, what yeah. You do yeah. No problem, you, man. You know, you, you're in a congregation. Yeah. And there's some stuff like that you see that make you uncomfortable, you know, uh, and. Um, uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. You uh, go to the pastor and you talk to him about it. Well, I'm just dying. What if, you know, uh, we had to do with the pastor itself, not, not, you know. I'm just saying. Well, you take it to the church. Like, for example, I'll give you an example. Let me just give you an example, okay? This is from Jesus' lips. Now, you know he's the Lord, right? Jesus is the Lord and the Lord of glory, and he's uh, He's one of the members of the Trinity. He, he's God, and he's the Son of God. All right, so that's established, that, that, that when Jesus says something, that's it. He said that if your brother sins, take it to the church. Take it to uh, to one or two members. And he and he, and he doesn't if he doesn't if he go to him privately if he doesn't listen to you bring it to the church, if he doesn't bring it to the church let him be as a tax collect let him be unto you as a tax collector and a heathen meaning that there's protocol there's steps that you have to take in order to report him to to talk to him to report him to others and to report him to the overall church. So there is authority in the church. See, nobody, I have a ministry. I just can't go on and say what I want to say because people are going to complain. They're going to tell me, Angelo, you're not teaching the truth, whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. And so everybody is responsible to everybody else. But in the church setting, it's a very wonderful institution because no one has the authority to preach what they want to preach or to do what they want to do. So if you're seeing that, you tell the elders that this person is behaving in such a way and they can remove him and they could put another person in there. But the church is the body of Christ. You see, we're called the body of Christ in uh, Romans chapter 12, verses 4 and 5. We're called the body of Christ. You see, and um, don't you know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? So uh, whether two or three are gathered, there he is in the midst, meaning Jesus said. Whether two or three are gathered. So the thing is, it's not a normal, it's not like a job or it's not like just any place to go. It's not a club. This is, this is, it was instituted by God to, to, to preach the gospel here upon earth, to be the light of the world and the salt of the earth. Yeah. Now, if we don't go because of just imperfections, well, guess what? Jesus told us, he gave us seven churches to look at in the book of Revelation from chapter, chapter two and chapter three, uh, a church that was, uh, 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 like, uh, like, um, that was walking with God, like Smyrna mm -hmm. and uh, and uh, uh, Philippi and Ephesus, but Laodicea and Pergamos was not were not walking with God. Mm -hmm. So what did, what did they say? What did John say to the, to the people in the church to leave the church? No, mm -hmm. even where 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 Satan's seat dwelt. Okay. Be, okay. I heard what you said. Yeah. No. Go. 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 Would that be a problem if you take a you know a different direction because uh, you I maybe mean, you know you just 
But not to mention, like, you know... You no, know, no, 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 go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm listening to you, man. I'm here to listen, yeah. The thing is, you know, um, yeah. you know, you're a human, you know, there's some stuff like, you know... Right. The way you see things might not be the way I, you know, I, I see stuff, you know? Yeah. But, uh, you know, it's, I mean, it's, just, it's just sometimes yeah. it's just crazy, you know? Or you see something, and, you know, and, um, mm -hmm. and it happened to be either something that... You know your pastor. You know, you yeah. Know, you know, the priest, you yeah. Know. I mean, in, in any way, well, I'm not a I'm not a Catholic, you know, so I don't have no, problem with priests. So I'm not even gonna go. No, yeah, I'm about everybody in general. Right, 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 right. Something like that. You know, I mean, your first reaction, thinking, you know, thinking about me. Yeah, my first reaction Absolutely. would be, you know, you know, I have to leave that church, you know, and I right. have to, you know. I have to go somewhere else, you know. Absolutely. I know, you know, that I have right for me. Absolutely. Yeah. And, 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 and you're right. And you're right. And I'm yeah. going to add to that. I'm going to add to that. Yeah. You're right. Nobody is married to a church. Yeah. Meaning you don't have to go to a specific church. It doesn't say in the yeah. Bible, thou shalt only go to, I don't know, whatever name church or whatever. I'm not going to name any church, but... No, no, absolutely. If you if it's so bad in that church that they're not listening, whatever, yeah, there might be another uh, church uh, in the same block or across the street or no, no, absolutely. But as long as you go somewhere, because don't let that discourage you that well, all churches are the same. They're all hypocrites and fraud. Because not. you know something, of you know something not. that God loves His people. And, 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 and you know what David did? David sinned, but but he came back to God. You know, David sinned with Bathsheba, you know, but he still was a man after God's own heart. Solomon sinned also in the Bible, but still he came back to God. Remember 500 concubines, whatever the case may be. But then he wrote a book called uh, Ecclesiastes, and he said that was all vanity. So he came back to God. Abraham lied, yeah. and he was called a friend of God. Well, he was called a friend of God because he lied? No, because he had problems. He had issues. He wasn't perfect. Nobody's perfect in the Bible. Moses uh, uh, struck the rock, the rock twice. He wasn't supposed to do it, and for that, he wasn't allowed to 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 enter into the land with with with, with the other people because he hit the rock twice. He was he he was not allowed to come inside. Now he didn't say, "Well," and 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 look what Moses had to go through. He had to lead forty years. The children of Israel, there was a stubborn, rebellious people. Did he leave? Now, sometimes he wanted to leave. He wanted to leave the congregation. <laughs> but he said, no, I have a responsibility to lead these sheep because I know they're stubborn. I know they're stiff-necked. But they're God's people, though. They're God's people. Now, whoever wasn't God's people, God's going to take care of that. You don't have to worry. God God knows who's the hypocrites in the church and who are the fa false Christians, who are the, who are the counterfeit, who are the terrorists. God knows that you're right. God and God sees the hypocrites from his own children. Meaning he 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 knows the, the, the counterfeit and he knows the real. And he's gonna deal with them. He's gonna deal with them. But our business is to stay in a particular church as long as God as long as God wants us to, or to go to another church. But as long as we go, me. we're making a difference. Well, I mean like uh we don't have we don't have five minutes, man. You know, see if we could make work at all. You know, we don't have five minutes. You have to well, be responsible. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, you know, I'm, I'm gonna hang up for another four minutes. That's that's all I could give you, though. That's very irresponsible, man. I mean, come on. Yeah. Unless he has a problem or something, but but the thing is, listen, I know it's discouraging. Okay. And I know that there were a lot of things going on in Smyrna. There was a, a church in Revelation chapter 2, the book of Revelation, the Apocalypse. And he said, be faithful unto death. There are some people that are dying in churches all around the world. We saw what happened in Texas. They were faithful unto death. We saw what happened. We saw what happened. What ha we're seeing what happened in the Middle East, in Syria, in Iraq. And there are churches. You know something? They are, they're the brave ones. They're going to church. Even though they might get killed, they're going. And we don't have that persecution over here in the United States, and yet some of us refuse to go just because of a little bit of hypocrisy or mm -hmm. a little bit of sin. And so, but there are people that are actually putting their lives at risk and going because of the cause of Christ, because of the Great Commission to 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 to, to bring the gospel, even if it causes our lives to go and 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 and, and bring the message. You understand what I'm saying? So even though we're seeing things. It's not enough to give us an excuse not to go because Jesus commanded us to, and he's the our commander in chief. You know?
And he's going to reward you for that faithfulness of going for, you know, he and he only asked for one day. He's, he rested on the seventh day, right? And he only asked for one day, uh, 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 meaning of, like, you know, we should think of him all days, but to worship him and fellowship with other believers. He's only asking for one day out of the seven days. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, man.